Hello there, I am Rene Chiquete and today I have an update related to the awesome shoutout widget that I made a few days ago. Uh, it turns out that after releasing it, a lot of people reached out and started asking for features or suggestions or changes and a few of them were really, really good. So I added all of them to the list and I started working towards the ones that were possible and more useful. And turns out that uh, quite a few of them made it to the next release. By the time you're watching this, you will be able to get version 1.1 at least. And that one packs a lot of new features that I think are going to make it really, really useful and, and even more powerful to help your friend streamers and yourself, of course. So yeah, let's uh, give it a look. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can go to the description of this video and you will see the link to the original awesome shoutout widget, uh, which is basically a widget in stream elements that allows you to create a notification on your screen with the name of the streamer and a video, uh, or at least that's how it was on version 1.0. With the coming of version 1.1, there are a lot of really, really nice features that I was able to, to put in it. And just let's, let's give it a look. So the first thing we have to do is go to streamelements.com, which is the platform for the notifications. And we're going to click on connect to Twitch. And then we're going to the option my overlays on the left. So here you're going to be able to see your overlays for stream elements. You can have many overlays at the same time and all of them can be doing different things. In my case, I use some overlays for follow and subscription notifications, some of them for different zines. And for the awesome shout out, you're going to actually have one specific overlay for it. The easy way to install it is to just go to the link in the description of this video and use the one-click installer provided by Stream Elements, who have been incredibly helpful. And with that, you're gonna be able to get a copy of the widget with all the code and everything, and it's gonna be working out of the box. You're not gonna have to do anything else for it to work, except if you want to add your own videos and text uh, as, uh, as a default behavior, it's gonna give the streamer channel uh, logo and the text and subtext. Uh, which usually the text is going to be awesome shout out and the subtext is going to be the streamer's channel. In the case that you want to edit the widget and add your own videos and text for your preferred streamers, all you need to do is go and edit the widget. I'm going to be explaining uh, really, really quickly how to do it. And also I'm going to be ex explaining all the different features that I introduced in version 1.1 of the awesome shout out because they actually make uh, a lot of things very easy and you don't have to worry about some other things that you had to do manually in version 1.0. And also, there are new features that allow you to do more things this time around. So yeah, let's move uh, and edit this widget. The first thing you need to know is that this rectangle that you see here, this transparent rectangle, is the widget. When you click on it, you're going to see a different, different UI pop up on the left. And all you have to do is click on the Open Editor button. This is going to bring up four different sections, HTML, CSS, JS, and fields. All of them are different technologies. I already explained this in the previous video if you want to go and give it a look to understand a bit more of how it works. But the very basics is that you go to the JS part and here you have something that is called a matrix. Now this matrix is called videos data and this matrix actually contains all the names and the respective videos and text that you want to indicate for each of them. When you do the command, uh, whether the SO or any other command, I'm going to be talking more about that later as well. When you throw the command in your chat and it catches the name, it's going to search for the name here. You can see that I have quite a few names already. And if it finds the name, then it's going to proceed to extract the text and the video URL and proceed to show it on the screen. Um, there is one specific change with that and it's that now you can actually use images and GIF images as well. With that out of the way, now we can go and talk more about the changes and features that were implemented in version 1.1. The first thing that was requested almost immediately after the first version was released was the possibility of adding your own custom command for the shout out. Instead of using exclamation mark SO, uh, some people approached me and say, hey, why, how can I add my own command instead of SO? And technically you can just go into the code and do it, but thinking on you, I, th I thought it was easier to just include um, simply a, a UI version for this. So if you go to the left, you can see that you have something that is it's called text command. And here you can see that it's exclamation SO. So here you can replace this with any command that you want. You can, you can do uh, Spanish, German, or whatever you, uh, language you use. 
and I think that that's gonna also uh, help you align with any other commands or any other bots that you are already using. The second thing that uh, I started to get a lot of messages about was why images do not work? Why, I, why can't I use a, a GIF instead of a video? So the, the answer was, well, I, you know, I never thought about that. So I went in and I added the code for that. And now you can also use uh, an image instead of a video. Uh, I'll talk about uh, how you can do it in a moment. Uh, remember that the video uh, URL is actually inside. You have to go to uh, open editor, go to the JS part, scroll down to the matrix that is called videos data. And here you can see some element that is called video on each name. So this URL is what you need to change. You can, you can add an image, a GIF, uh, a BMP, a PNG, almost all the standard image files uh, are supported now. The third change was a suggestion that came from Safer Games, a Spanish streamer who is amazing by the way, shout out to him for the awesome idea. I love it, I really love it. As soon as he told me, I said, yes, this is something I need to put into, into the widget. And basically what it does is if you do a shout out and the streamer is not on the list, what, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna see the streamer channel's logo on the screen instead of an image or a video. And this means that if you don't touch anything, it's gonna show always the, the channel, the avatar of the channel of the streamer that you just did a shout out for. And of course, thinking that maybe you will not like this behavior, that maybe you want to to only give a special shout out to your friends or to the people that you have on the list, I added an option here on the left that you can see that it's called show logo when not found. And this has two options. So when it's uh, indicated show, lo so show channel logo, this means that the logo will always be shown when it's not found on the list. But if you switch to never show logo, it's gonna mean that only the people on the list will get the, the awesome shout out. And for the minor changes, I fixed the fact that the that the command will not work when there were uppercase uh, letters. So now it will works with any kind of combination of upper and lowercase. And when the streamer name is invalid, meaning that the username that you wrote maybe it's wrong or maybe it's uh, you 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 pasted something incorrectly, uh, and it doesn't find the name, it's just gonna not do anything. It's not gonna pop up text or anything. And those are all the changes for version 1.1 for the awesome shout out. At the moment, I don't really have many more things to add to the widget. I think that I, I got it to a very good point and I think you can do a lot, a lot with it already. But still, let me know what you think. Uh, test it, uh, try it out. If you have any questions or doubt, feel free to contact me via Discord or Twitter or, or going to my Twitch channel. I usually do streams every other day and I'm streaming during the weekends. I usually stream for six, eight, eight hours and on weekdays, I usually stream three, four hours. So it's it's almost almost sure that you are going to find me. If you want to uh, know my schedule, you can just go to my Twitch channel and on the lower part, you will see how many hours are, are left for the next stream and also the schedule for the, for the rest of the week. And that will be all. Thank you very much for using the awesome shout out. I'm really happy with what I achieved here. Thanks to, to you and a lot of tests and a lot of help from a lot of people. Once again, uh, I don't think I would have gotten that far and that, that fast if it wasn't for a lot of people that have been helping me with ideas especially. And I'm always open for suggestions. If you have ideas for other kind of widgets or alerts or suggestions, or you just have the idea of doing something amazing for your stream, you know, just, just send me a message and, and I'll see how I can help. My name is Rene Chiquete and I hope you have a fantastic time streaming.